I'm Christina. I'm Miriam. And we are from Chelsea, from Chelsea Yarns. We are the Chelsea Pearls, which is what we like to call ourselves, right? Absolutely. Um, on Thursday nights, we all get together and we knit at the shop. And we've called ourselves the Chelsea Pearls for a while now. Yeah. Just like we were planning to podcast for, for a while, while now. now. Yes. We made a have. lot of really good excuses for not podcasting. We did, we did, we did have a lot of good excuses too. And we kept putting it off for week for week. And now we are here. So anyway, you can find me at Chelsea Yarns and also on Ravelry as Miss Demina. And I'm Miriam and you can find me on Instagram as really Mir and Ravelry as busy mom 07755. Yes. I gotta change that one. That yes. was way too long. <laughs> well, it's fine. It's good now. We like it. Now I know what your name is. Okay. 07755. That is that your zip code? It was my zip code, <laughs> yes. Very creative, right? My zip code. Very New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I should put my area code or maybe my exit. I yeah. don't know. Well, then it would be Busy Mom 98? Uh, no, it would be like 100 or I could use 105. 105, that's right. I'm 114, I think. 114. Well, 114 or 109, I think. Red Bank. Red Bank. Red Bank is Which 109. Which is where yeah. the shop is in yes. Red Bank. The shop is located in Red Bank, New Jersey. <laughs> so, let's see. What are we going to talk about today? We talk about what we're working on. What That's are you working true. On there? I am knitting a sample for the shop out of Yu Yu uh, Worsted, which is the cutest little baby yarn. And Leslie, who works here, happens to like knit these things up in four minutes, um, and takes me a little bit longer. But it's the cutest little poncho. It's called a pom pom poncho. Isn't that cute? Oh, that is adorable. And I'm definitely going to use the new loom for the pom-poms and you are too yeah I'm, because you're going to knit oh my gosh I cannot believe oh. Miranda asked me to knit one of these for her yes yeah, she did this is so cute I love that however it's going to be quite the project mm -hmm. and I don't really have that much time but look at this main it's all pom-poms mm -hmm. so and I'm we, totally everyone need. that knows me knows how much I, I love pom-poms and see this is the loom I know, and this is new to me. I've never used one yeah, of these for Yeah, they're awesome. Before. You just wrap, instead of the traditional the, plastic one yeah. that you would wrap around that I always use that I tap, tap, tap onto the um, side of the garbage can and there's fuzz everywhere. But these are the loom and you just wrap the yarn around and then cut and tie. And you could also use different sizes and you could make bracelets on friendship bracelets which we were supposed to do I know we Saturday. don't have our friendship bracelets I totally <laughs> forgot about that project we'll have to do it next Saturday we will have to do it next yes. Saturday but, but I think Miranda will love this what yarn are you using I am using Barocco Vintage oh that's a perfect yes. yarn for and her wait well, I have so many bags of projects here ouch got a lot of things we have a lot of works so I'm going with her school colors Blue love and it. gold. Mm -hmm. We love so, it. So I think it's going to be great. It'll look adorable in her dorm room. Gail, one of our customers, um, makes all sorts of crazy, beautiful animals. And every time she knits a new one, she brings it in, and I fall in love with it. And then she makes me one. She's so sweet. <laughs> but he has hearts on the back. I think the original pattern called for just spots. Spots. Oh, I think I'm going to try I her hearts like for the Miranda. Hearts. Cause it's really cute. That is super cute. I love that. I think Miranda will love it. I think so too. I do too. Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Yes, these are our kahunas that Red Bank Mike makes for us. We call him Red Bank Mike, that's not his real name, but we like to tease him and call him Red Bank Mike. But he knits, knits. He does not knit these, but he makes them. Everyone asks him to knit, but he won't knit yet. Anyhow, these are kahunas that he takes 20 skeins of hand-dyed Chelsea Lux and some other yarn sometimes, right? Like knitted wits in here. Yes. I know there's some marionated. And he magic knots the yarns together into a big magic cake. And everyone loves them and stalks our uh, 
Instagram page. It's crazy the way they fly <laughs> out of here. So I'm amazed. There's one sitting on the counter, and two minutes later, it's gone, and there's someone else coming through the door looking for one. <laughs> so yeah, these are his. He actually didn't. We make we made him a an Instagram account. Yes. We so did. you can follow Red Bank Mike. Red Bank Mike on is Instagram. on Instagram. That so way you can find out when the kahunas will be available yep, for and sale. Yeah, you can see all the new ones that he's making for us and everything like that. So I love these colors. Me too. I still don't have one. And neons. I is that not ridiculous that I do not have one? I find that a little insane. That I, It's just like they, I will be using one and someone will say, I'll buy that one. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So when you have this kahuna, this giant cake of yarn, what do you do with it? Well, I, in my projects, I started this crochet granny stripe because on Instagram I keep seeing all these beautiful crocheted granny stripes. So, yes, the pattern is from Attic24 and it's on Ravelry. She does, I think there's just a recipe. There's, okay. and she tells you how many, um, like a little sequence of the pattern, and then you would put together how many you need to chain. But I just, a lot of people changed 302. Did I say 302? I think it was 302. So I changed 302. I think this is pretty, and it's pretty big. And it is. That's so a good it'll size. fit a king size bed. This will take me 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> this this might not get done, but we'll see. I really enjoy working on it. So. But crocheting goes fast. It goes it's faster super, than knitting. And it's really therapeutic because it's the in and out, and it's it's mesmerizing. You just keep going, and it keeps growing. And then I just change it whenever I feel like it. But it's really it makes me happy when I look at the colors. It's really I love pretty. The colors. I have another one that I started. I actually started this while I was away because I didn't have mine with. But you know, and I keep it in my handy dandy little bag with all my minis in there. So that's fun. What are you working on? I am working on the starting point. The Hohi Locatelli pattern that's so popular mm -hmm. on Ravelry, and I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of a row. Isn't that a no-no on podcasts? It is a podcast <laughs> no-no. I, I, I have a feeling we're going to commit a lot of podcasts. <laughs> we no are. So, so please, yes, <laughs> we're sorry about that in advance. <laughs> we're just we're just warming up. <laughs> that's for sure. But I love 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 my color choices and this was a challenge for me you know me I can pick three colors but five is really stretching five it. Five is stretching it too. So yeah. I have some Anzula and Anzula, some of your gorgeous Chelsea, Chelsea Lux. Um, flying Finch is the colorway, yes, right? Yes I love that flying finch and more Anzula and I'm really happy with the way that it's working up. You finally got your Grello. Grello. That's all <laughs> I wanted is gray and yellow. Yes. Yes, you got it. I did the Bradway last year, I think, for Shawlapalooza. Yes. And Shawlapalooza is our um, contest that we've been running. I think this is the third summer. It I is think. the third. This is the third summer that we've had um, Shawlapalooza. You can find all the information about it in our Ravelry group. And it's a contest that runs from just before the teachers get out of school and it runs through usually through mid-September. We made it a little bit later this year yes. because a lot of people made two or three shawls and then um, finished them a little bit later. So you could find all the details about it in there. But last year I did knit the uh, Bradway shawl and I did get the my grello. And the yellow and I was obsessed with it. Yeah. I wanted to make one but this I didn't want to copy you. So this way I'm getting my gray and my yellow. It's okay, we could all knit the same thing. <laughs> I am doing the Hohi shawl also but I am doing it in my uh, baby pink and neutral colors. I'm using, Those are gorgeous. thank you, I'm using uh, the Chelsea Lux Flying Finch, some Mad Tosh, uh, Glaze Picard, it's one of my favorite colors. I, I, it has to be incorporated into almost everything that I knit. This is Backyard Fibers, and then we have some uh, Tosh and some Malabrigo. I really like it. But I'm doing finish. mine, and I think you are too, one at a time. So we're finishing yes. each clue and then working on the second piece. So I'm still working my way through my first one. It's going to take right. me a while. Me too. I, although I did start this last week, and I brought with me on vacation um, 
six twenty fours, but they were a little too short, so I couldn't. And as you increase, it was getting larger and larger, and I, had, I was all squished up, and I didn't feel comfortable. So then I started another crochet project, <laughs> which is what I always do. Why not? Um, also, we're all, you're doing this one too. This one is like flying around the shop. Everyone is doing it. The Tegna. Mm -hmm. Everyone has it. I um, Sweet Sparrow was just here for a trunk show last week, two weeks ago, I think it was, and we, you know, I hoarded a whole bunch of yarn in a bag, and I. That's totally every one of her. Yeah, this is this is like me for me, especially. This is um, Dusty Rose, and it's in her house rent, which was super popular at the trunk show. I think we sold out of it. I think so. Did too. you get your hands on any? Why me? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, she came here. Um, she and Jacqueline from the Knit Folk. She, they came the Brooklyn Knit Folk. She, they came this um, that Saturday morning early. And as they were setting up, I was like, <laughs> were you pulling things yeah. before? <laughs> no, I wanted to. I was a little embarrassed, so I didn't want to. I was, I was like, all of them. How about we just call it a day? I'll just take all of them home. But you know, you can't do that. Anyhow, um, this is going to be my Tegna. Um, what color are you using? I am going for Ooh. the nooch. That's right, in the yak. Yes. I love that. That's Because beautiful. I know the way I knit, it's not going to get done until fall, perhaps well, winter. So everyone I want to be something wearing darker. winter Rhinebeck, I think. This is the yarn I'm going to do my tag knit in because I love the purple. I love the feel of it. And I've never worked with yak before, so I'm really I think curious. I did once. I can't remember. I think I might have made my husband a pair of socks years ago. But I think it was more um, of a earthy yak. Okay. It wasn't like a hand. Yeah, yet. this is um, her East Village sock base, and it's merino, nylon, and yak. I need to get my hands on some of that. Yeah. I think the techno would be really nice. I'm looking forward I'm to it. I think it's going to be a fun I one. I love the, although I was told by everyone else knitting it, you, we, you need to concentrate the first oh, 47 no. rows. 47, 47 no. rows. Not just, yeah, it's not like That's the weeks, first month. <laughs> 47, I was like, 47, oh, all right, well, Ooh. yeah. 47. 47. Something. I, it could be more. I don't know. But that would be... I'm scared. But we'll do it. We'll just bunker down and we'll knit through That's it. That's it. Yeah. I, I sit on the couch very quietly. I think we home. could. No TV. No, no TV. kids. No, no dogs. No. Nothing. Well, Miranda's going to college. As Miranda's going to college. So, so um, we'll both be empty nesters. Oh, no. We'll we still have two of yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. You do. <laughs> Someday, someday I'll be an empty nest. Someday, <laughs> so I'll be I'll be just knitting away on my forty-seven rows of my Tecna. Mm -hmm. That should be fun. So that's what I have. Do I have any other projects? No, but you did want. I do want to start a so faded sweater. I just I and every time I think about getting my colors. And I change the first color. You know how I am about color. <laughs> I and do then, know how you are. And then I think, no, 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 no. I've been trying. As soon as I finished my fade, which I love, I That's love, gorgeous. love, love. As soon as I finished it, I said, oh, I had withdrawals of fade, and I wanted to start another one. But then I said, how about let's do a so faded sweater? So I chose my colors, and then I sold a few because they were in my little corner that I have. Yeah, <laughs> I have a corner in the shop where I wind yarn that I don't, um, they become not mistakes because they're all beautiful <laughs> skeins, <laughs> but they're just not incorporated into my current whip. So we put them in the corner and actually people, they'll be sitting in the corner and people will come and say, oh, oh what's this, Sam? <laughs> and Vincent always says, oh, those are her, um, her reject yarns that she's not using. And they're, they're all beautiful yarns, but I just, you know, I get overly excited when I'm starting a project and I change, I get a little indecisive. Not in anywhere else in my life, only in my knitting projects. But we want, you wanted to talk about, and I just saw this and it reminded me, of what would be the perfect little holder for all your yarn. I'm thinking about this as I'm knitting, and you know how you have your leftover yarn, and obviously if you've got a lot of leftovers, you can make minis, or mm -hmm. you can incorporate it into a cozy memory blanket, 
But I'm thinking, knowing my luck with Harley the dog, who likes to rip things up, he I does should like have to rip those things up. At least a yard of yarn that I have tucked away somewhere in case repairs are needed. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how to store it. Right. So that it doesn't get all tangled up, it doesn't get lost, so that if I do need something, I'm able to find it. Do you put it in a Ziploc bag? Where do you put it? So what do you guys think? That's what we were That's what we Definitely were looking if for anyone, suggestions. And tips on what we would do with those yarns. I think that would be a good idea. And the other thing that we wanted to know was, what is the perfect... I love this huge, big plastic um, case around with me with all my uh, little... Um, stitch markers and scissors and needles and chibis and, and we wanted to know what say I try to go for a smaller one something that I can yeah. toss into the project bag well I figured that goes in my big bag yeah like you know you know how doctors always have their little bag of you know, <laughs> a stethoscope and I mean this is we my job. Our right. house yeah. <laughs> so I have, I mean, I bring this to work with me every day because I always need a stitch marker. I mean, I have given You've away a lot of stuff in how there. many stitch markers. I am always giving I probably away have some viewers in here. A hundred percent. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I always like, I need these things with me, but I need to find a smaller, I don't know. This seems just obscene to carry with you like if you're going on vacation hold on i have to bring my ginormous yeah. stitch yeah so and it does make a lot of noise so sorry about that the noises if you're listening in your headphones <laughs> and this is also my new obsession oh my gosh mm -hmm. yeah i have mine at home yes bedside table yes. i read a few pages before i go to sleep at night yes Love. we sold out we Love. had like 12 copies each edition one and two and we sold out all of them there it's i i'm i love magazines and i love books and i love but the smell it smells so good it smells like a oh just a beautiful book and i just want to read and knit everything in here and and recipes it's too great. it's an awesome so it's Lane Magazine, Nordic Knit Life. And we were just talking about how there's that huge fiber festival in Finland yes. this weekend. And we were wondering why we weren't there. We were, we were saying that we need to go. <laughs> Some exciting news. Yes. So we have decided, I guess when we get our first hundred subscribers. Which will that, be yeah. tomorrow, any day. Next, next year. <laughs> any day. Yeah. Next year or whenever that we are going to give away three Chelsea Lux um, skeins of yarn. And what do you need to do? Are you giving away my flying finch? I am giving away all oh. your flying finch, I promise. I'll make you more. Okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking you have to subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. In addition to doing that, you need to make comment a comment. below. Just introduce yourself. Yep, yeah, and Who say you hi. Are, where are you coming from? And if you have any ideas on what you want us to talk about, yeah, mm -hmm. we're looking for suggestions. If yeah. you know what I can do with my uh, extra yarn or your uh, knitting tools yes, there. Yes, my knitting tools. We'd yes. love to hear it. We would. But anyway, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Christina. I'm Miriam. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, you can let him in. Oh, that's Michael. Tell me how we look, babe. You look great, babe. It's on there, so you guys are. Oh, that's true. Okay. <coughs> okay here we go. Oh, this is gonna be Live yeah. from Red Bank, New Jersey. Ready? Christina, my son yeah. Michael, and his girlfriend Paige. I'm back. <coughs> okay. You okay. <laughs> wow. guys walking around Red Bank? Oh, we were just at home. You're so much better. <laughs> that's oh. a wrap. We have to say bye. Okay. And it's still recording. Okay. I think so. you may have forgotten to tell them that you're Christina. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, that's okay. All right, we're going. You make your farewell again. Three, two, one. Dan, go fix it. Do we start from the beginning or we no, just pick up where no, we left yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Take this is two. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. There it is.